Well, hello everyone, and I hope you all enjoyed the cute little live stream that Frontier did. We are joined by Jens and Lydia, both extremely awesome community managers. Of course, we were missing Tim, and we missed Elton in, but I hope they're enjoying their little time off. I know it's pretty late for them over there right now, so hope they're enjoying their time. Armadillo! Okay, we'll just jump right into it. Armadillo. So, Armadillo is the animal that was revealed in the pack, and obviously, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention their wonderful building abilities. As a LEGO user myself, as a LEGO lover myself, um, they did an incredible job with these little habitats. It was super cute. Lydia made a burrow. Jens made, like, all these super cool enrichments. Really awesome stuff. Extremely awesome stuff. Love you guys. But I know lots of people are very excited about what could be on the horizon for Planet Zoo. Now, we're going to talk a little bit about this. Welcome, everyone. Hope you guys are all having the most wonderful, wonderful days. South America, Central America, overall, Latin America. This is a region that is extremely lacking in biodiversity, and we should probably talk about what our other contenders are. Of course, the nine-banded armadillo is what we are thinking so far. It is up there on the metal wish list. It is, you know, relatively well-known. It's a really cool animal. Uh, so, obviously, we know that one's coming. But what else? Well, I've always said that South America has had these small little newcomers in the aquatic pack and the wetlands pack. Uh, I think conservation didn't actually have anything, from what I remember. But still, we've always gotten a slow, steady trickle of South American animals. But as you guys know, the South America pack leaves a lot to be desired, coming from one of the most biodiverse regions on this entire planet. So, we have a lot of animals that could be contenders over here. Uh, I'm just going to have them come up on the screen right over here. I'm just going to kind of breeze through these. Sloths are going to be a huge thing over here. Uh, sloths are easily some of my favorite animals, even though I think they're sometimes a little bit overrated. I would still love to get a two-toed sloth in here. I really am gunning that they do a uh, habitat animal and not the exhibit animal. You'll wait to hear me why. Uh, moving on from that, we also have the main wolf. Main wolves are very, very popular animals. Lots of people know what the main wolf is. Their fun fact is that, like binturongs, they smell like a little funny something, uh, but they don't smell like popcorn. No, they smell like something else. You guys can look it up. Uh, moving on from there, we also have howler monkeys. These guys would be a personal favorite of mine just because they have these very unique vocalizations that I think no other animal really can demonstrate, except for the Siamang, I guess, so that'd be pretty cool. Uh, looking at what else we have, Andean bears are going to be a really awesome animal if we do get one, of course. Uh, that's just a really beautiful bear. It'd be the first New World bear that we would have gotten in a DLC. Actually, no, that polar bear uh it's a south american bear it's the only south american bear out there i think they're pretty damn cool from there i guess i could also throw in ocelot even though i really wouldn't want one because the mod is perfect um i think the ocelot would be a really wonderful choice in here though uh just a really unique animal always can get more cats in planet zoo always do love to build for those guys so i think that'd be pretty spectacular to have as well uh, and spider monkeys, they could actually use the brachiation that we got from the Siamangs, so that wouldn't go to waste. I think that'd be super awesome as well. But, you guys are probably saying, Leaf, Leaf, my boy, Leaf, what about the birds? What about the birds we were all expecting? Well, I think we might be getting that for the spring pack. I think that's kind of what we're reverting to nowadays. Um, obviously, our armadillos don't fly, guys, so we're not getting a completely flying base pack. However, we do have the walkthrough exhibit. And with that walkthrough exhibit, we could possibly get something along the lines of a scarlet macaw. Okay, now listen, okay, might not be scarlet, it could be hyacinth macaw. But I think when I was talking this over with, like, you know, Nick Goron and a few of my other friends, they were kind of like, uh, just... Yeah, this bird can stand on its own. It doesn't need other birds there to support it. In fact, being an aviary by itself is probably recommended, unless if you have like a different species of macaw, but it's probably recommended when it comes to that. So I think we might be looking at a macaw for the walkthrough exhibit. Otherwise, we could probably expect like, you know, something like green anaconda, something very simple like that, maybe a new bug or something, but that's kind of my headcanon. 
Let me hear from you guys what you all have to say. And yeah, I'm very excited to see what this pack is going to bring us. Hopefully we should be getting the trailer tomorrow morning. Be sure to wake up nice and early for that if you're an American because I know they come out relatively very early. So very excited to see what is in store for us. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. You guys are always the best and I hope you guys have the most wonderful of wonderful days. Let me know your predictions down below and I will see you all tomorrow. Goodbye.